Hi guys, Education Secretary Gillian Keegan attempted to school a Sky News reporter on economics when he raised the point about Liz Truss. Now, according to polling analysis Sir John Curtis, the Tories lost 6% following the mini-budget, which saw people's mortgages go through the roof and tenants of private landlords experience a jump in the rents that they are paying as a direct consequence of that. However, while we can't tie inflation to Liz Truss, which Gillian rightly says, she doesn't seem to understand why prices rose so quickly in 2022 and then rose less dramatically this year. The reporter was taking none of her crap and seems to suggest that Gillian is a bit of an idiot. Have a listen. A personal well, there's been a massive jump in inflation under your watch as well, and that's one of the reasons why it had to go up. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can thank uh, Vladimir Putin and uh, his invasion of Ukraine for that. But of course, well, now a lot of people we've managed thank to get that down that. to 2%. A lot of people thank Liz managed- Trust for that, don't they? No, well, that's not true. If you look all over the world, Liz Trust was nothing to do with other countries where the inflation went went, went up in exactly the same way. So, you know, you have to be honest and you have to understand economics as well. The energy spike, which caused a huge spike in inflation, which now is now very quickly, probably a year ahead of schedule, down to 2%, which is normal. And that's a year ahead of schedule. And I think that's a lot to do with uh, the restraint that we've shown uh, in terms of spending in the last... Well, it, uh, it, it, if you understood economics, you'd know that it's actually got a lot to do with the Bank of England, which is independent of the government and the way they manage interest rates. That's the yeah, real yeah. reason why inflation has come down if you're economically literate. Well, actually, it is the in feeding in of the... Because what they do is they look at the economics. Theirs is a decision point... But what they do is they look at all the economic factors and all the prices. So the energy fact that the energy price spiked is why it went up. The fact the energy price then was uh, brought down due to lots of other measures being put in place and lots of other supply opening up was why it then fed into them making the decision to keep it up. But it's not uh, to keep it to to put it down, but it's not it's not just what the hell is she talking about here? (laughs) It's just making no sense whatsoever. Now, when it comes to Liz Truss, um, the reporter is not correct when he when he well, he's not he's not saying that it's all down to Liz Truss. He's saying people are saying this. £45 billion in unfunded tax cuts. That was a direct, that's what was in the mini budget. What happened was the pound dropped in value, the cost of government borrowing shot up, and mortgage rates increased. Also, it pushed LDIs into record levels, uh, which resulted in the government having to intervene to protect so called risk free investments. But back to the point about inflation. Inflation shot up, of course, because of the war in Ukraine, and it has come down because of oil prices have dropped. Nothing to do with Gillian Keegan and her government. And when it comes to the Bank of England, the Bank of England increased interest rates to put a break on the economy, to reduce the flow of money going into the economy. They, they basically said we need to manufacture an, a recession in order to reduce the rate of inflation. Because the Bank of England doesn't care about the economy, it cares about bringing down the inflation rate, it seems. So they were fighting to bring down the inflation rate. Inflation dropped as a result of oil prices stabilizing and dropping. So it's nothing to do with Rishi Sunak and Gillian Keegan's government. But they can't be honest about that. They'll say... We have succeeded. Because of us, inflation is down. But inflation is not down because of you, because then you'd have to say, well, inflation is high because of us. But they won't say that either. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.